Hello investor and trader, welcome back to another episode of Live Day Trading Recap. So today I traded fastly this morning. I was watching it during pre-market to see how low can this thing go and it's been tanking since pre-market. Alright, the RSI is pretty low on the 5 minute so that got my attention. So I want to play it safe, like I said I trade like a chicken. I want to wait for the market to open and see what it does. I think it can go lower. I was watching the $100 level. Why $100, why $100 level? It's simply the, it's a whole number and I'm sure a lot of traders will be watching that and it's very close to that. So as usual, I always check the time frame, 5 minute, 15, 30, 60. After that, I go to the daily and the weekly. So let's just roll the footage. So market opens now and then I just tank fast. And then now you can see it just passed 100 real quick and I bounce. It bounced fast. So I, then I know, okay, I missed this first opportunity. Like it bounced almost over two dollars, and like, okay, no worry, let's just let it cool down and wait for the pullback. Because once the stocks are bouncing, I'm not gonna chase it. So here, the second five-minute candle, is, and I just watched the whole five minute. I want to make sure that this 100 holds. Again, right here, I'm just checking the daily time frame. See how low can this thing go? Can 100 be a kilo of support? So I noticed right here, here's a wick and here's a wick. Buyer are stepping in, that's why I push the stock up. But I want to confirm, so I'm going to wait for the whole five minute to, to, for the candle to finish. I want to see how, how, how much buyer is pushing it up. Or it could be a fake out, which happens occasionally. So next candle, so there, so now I know, okay, 100 is a key level of support or 101 or something like that, somewhere around this price range. So I decided to enter at the half. I don't want to enter enter here. I want. I know I need to enter between right here, at uh, a better price. So I'll wait for a little pullback, the half dollar. There you go. Market order and a failed 1,000 shares initial entry. I would say half size or a quarter or a third, just not full size. So here I just wait, and eventually it does what I did. Uh, what it, what I thought it would do, just pop. There and there you go. So my selling is around this moving average. So I'm gonna have a order pretty soon. So it did as I expected. So that trade went pretty well. Just selling to resistance because this moving average right here gonna act as a resistance. So I have my limit order ready. And it failed. So that's pretty much for the trade of the day. Real quick. So yesterday, as I mentioned, that my statement from Clorox from yesterday trade finally went in. I can show you right here. So that's yesterday business day. So Clorox did went through 1700 as I expected. So that's good. It took a whole day for it to settle. So you can see here, let me refresh. Now this is the website. This is where I always double check to make sure my order goes through. So, so far it went through because yesterday uh, 2263, you can see right here, yesterday 2263, so it matched the same thing. This is the platform, this is the website. And today uh, 1207, let's go today. 1207, so it looks good. And let's go to the month 13, so it's match. So, so far, this, uh, no, yeah, so far this month, it looks like I'm on track to hit 20K, which is my goal because we still have, mm, let's see, Monday close. We still have nine more trading days. So, each day a thousand or aim for a thousand. So, that's nine more thousand. Nine, yeah, definitely over 20,000. That's, that's my goal for today. Uh, my goal for the month because last month um, I want to, I want to have a goal at least a month 15k minimum that's equivalent to 180,000 a year so you can see it's pretty consistent um, small little red trade here small little red trade here and a small little red trade here so like I said I do take losses but my losses is not common it is common but 
once in a while I have a loss and I'll post a loss when it when that when that day comes I'll post it. Don't worry, it'll it'll, it'll come. I don't want to dwell myself, but I know can't have a straight you know winning streak forever, right? Eventually that day will come. I mean I still make mistakes, still learning. It's a fun game to play. So fastly right here, um, I don't think maybe it will. It will pass above this uh, moving. The market's still open. It may pass above this moving average. Now, if we go fastly, earning is in next week, I think. So this is the, the daily. So when when I when I zoom out to the daily, I notice okay, where's the moving average right here? So let's go to here. This is where I have more moving averages. Okay, so this is the 50 EMA. So I know okay, around 100 or 99, whatever. And it did what I expected to do, bounce. So there's a little gap right here. Maybe next week it'll fill in the gap and earning comes and we can see what happened to Fastly. Okay, see you guys uh, next Tuesday because Monday there's no trading.